What's up, y'all? So I've been seeing a lot of videos on the topic of how to get a woman obsessed with you. So that's what I'm gonna be covering in this video. Some of the videos that I've seen are good, some of them are bad. Uh, I think what I'm gonna tell you guys is a little bit different from what these other videos are saying, um, and it's a good one. So I wouldn't recommend that you guys try and get a woman obsessed with you. <laughs> Feelings of obsession are not healthy, but I mean, let's be real. There are some guys out there that women obsess over, and there are some guys out there that women barely even notice. So if you watch this video, I'm gonna teach you how to be in one of the guys that women tend to obsess over more, but again, use your powers for good. So I'm gonna begin the, today's lesson with a story. Okay, uh, and this story happened to me about you know a couple years ago. All right, so I met this girl for drinks. It was Saturday night, and I got her number previously. I think the the previous week or something like that. And we sat down. She shows up. She's looking good, and she sits down. And I can kind of tell that she's the kind of girl who you know puts a lot of pressure on herself. You know, she has like a lot of expectations. Maybe she works clearly works really hard. She was working at a tech company. She was a sales manager for them. And you know she went to a good school, and you know she works hard. She also likes to go out. She also likes to have a sex life. So you know occasionally she'd probably meet up with a guy on Tinder or something like that, and you know go out with him, have a couple drinks, and if he was cool, cute, and um, she was into him, then you know she'd probably hook up with him or something like that. And that was kind of her life. Um, now she shows up to the date, meets me. We hang out, we start talking a little bit, and I kind of gather all this information pretty quickly from her that she's this kind of person. And then I, um, she's just asking me the normal date questions, you know, like we asking me about my family, asking me about like what I do, and and that sort of stuff, okay. And it's getting a little bit lame. And so I was like, you know what? Tonight we are gonna go on an adventure. She's like, what? And, and I'm like, we're gonna go on an adventure. We need to find a place that's cooler than this. We need to find an oracle. She's like, what? An oracle? What are you talking about? I'm like, yes, an oracle. Have you read Greek mythology? You know what an oracle is? Yes, like a prophet, someone who shows you the way, sh shows you where to go. And this oracle is gonna have the place that we need to go. And she's like, kind of, she's like, all right, okay, that sounds, we could do that. She's a little weirded out. And I'm like, all right, cool. So we begin. So we head to this other, uh, other bar that was just down the road. We go there, meet a couple people, hanging out. And uh, as we're talking to these people, I'm like, hey, we're going on a quest. Do you guys want to come with us? And they're like, what's this quest? And we're like, well, we're trying to find the Oracle so we can figure that out. We're trying to find our destination. And they were kind of like, some people were with it. Some people were kind of just wanted to have a normal night. But, you know, there was a couple people that we talked to that were really, really into it. Anyway, again, the, I keep talking, keep bringing this up. And the more I'm bringing this up, at first she was just like, this is his thing, he's doing this, she's a little reluctant to play ball, but then she starts to get into it, and now she's like, all right, yeah, we gotta find this oracle, and we found, we found fellow allies to go with us on this adventure to find this person, and eventually we came to this one bar, it was kind of like an underground, not, not really an underground, but more of like a hole in the wall type bar, we go there and there's a guy, like, kind of older, like, with tattoos and stuff, who's smoking in the back, and I'm like, I think that's our oracle, and she's like, she's like, you think so? And I'm like, yeah, so I go up to him, and I'm like, hey, dude. And I just start talking to him for a little bit. She comes in. Anyway, he gives us the address to an after party that's happening that night. So anyway, we go with this random dude that I just met. And he was our prophet. He was our oracle. He basically showed us the window to go to this cool after party. So we go to this underground after party with our allies, with all of our friends. And then we start meeting more people. We start meeting more uh, of all these people. Anyway, the cops come halfway through this underground after party. And we got to run away. So we run away, we end up going back to my place, and she was like, she, when we got back there, she was just like, she had never done that before, she was exhilarated, she was happy, and obviously the night ended uh, pretty well for the both of us uh, after that. And this story that I'm telling you hasn't just happened once, it's happened many times. What about this story is different from what happens to a lot of other people? Like I said, this girl, when she was walking through life, she, was, she made a, a lot of effort to fit in, to do the right thing. I took her out of that. It's, it's painful to be in that position. A lot of women, a lot of people, you know, especially women, they, they grow up with a lot of expectation from their parents, from their friends, from you know, their teachers, from whoever, okay? 
they especially they're they're judged very harshly for their appearance for the way that they act and it sucks it sucks it sucks for for men too but for women i think they're judged a little bit more harshly in this particular area and when you have someone who's like that what's normal for them and what their life is there's pain there the way you get somebody obsessed with you is you take them out of the pain this is why a lot of women, when they get in high school, they start hooking up with like people who sell weed or do drugs or party a lot because their life just going to class, like trying to fit in, trying to be the popular, like it, it, it's, it's stressful and it's painful for them. It's like a dull, lame, you know, slowly dying way of existence. And a lot of women feel this very strongly. Not every woman that you meet is, is actively in pain, but if you look at the statistics, a lot of them are, okay? And if you're the person that can take them out of the matrix, so to speak, that can show them that they don't have to think like that, that instead of just having a normal, like boring Saturday night date that ends with just a hookup that leads nowhere, I took her on an adventure. I showed her that this life doesn't have to be lame and boring. I showed her a different world, a world that was with me. Now, if you can do this, if you can bring somebody into your world and take them from the pain of their, you know, whatever their existence is, they will be obsessed with you. No bigger force in a person's life is when they're being, um, driving them away from pain. Okay. Now, like I said, not every girl is going to be <laughs> the, the right candidate for this because they're not in pain. And sometimes women do go for the wrong guys and they become obsessed with the wrong guys because they are in pain currently. But if you are able to get a woman outside of her pain and show her how to do it, I think there's, there's something beautiful about that. This world that we live in is hard and it hurts and sometimes it can get monotonous and boring and lame. And if, but if you are able to bring somebody out of that, you will be a special person to that person. And if they're able to bring you out of it too and together you go on the journey together, I mean, that's, that's the best thing of all time. But at least if you're able to create an environment, just turn average situations like I did, rather than you going on a date, you go on an adventure, rather than you just playing a simple, I don't know, um, a, a game of, um, a simple board game. Now you're going on like a quest. Like, make it into something fun. You're not just going to uh, like my, you know, beaten up station wagon, we're going to the chariot, okay? Make your life into something interesting. Make your life, even if it's normal and ordinary and boring, turn it into something exciting. Bring some excitement into her world. And if she's in pain, I guarantee you, she's going to become very, very obsessed with you. I've done this numerous times, but here's the thing. Once you give this to a girl, show her how she can bring this into her own life. Don't just be the source of her only happiness and you're the only one who can give it to her. If you inspire her to do it herself, then she's going to be a lot better for it. And she's going to be someone who never, not only is she never going to forget the experience that you gave her, but she's never going to forget you. Um, and so I think that's something really special. And uh, if you guys are wondering how to do this, um, I talk all about it in my approaching system. I mean, I literally did this in, on Venice Beach. I mean, I invited all these girls back to my hotel room just from walking on the beach for two hours. And the girls in my hotel room were saying, like, how did you create this? Like, this is amazing. Just, you know, with quarantine and everything shut down, you were still able to, like, create a party out of nothing. Yeah, it was, you know. And it's possible. You can definitely do this sort of thing. You just... Just don't think like the rest of the, rest of the other people. If you think like everybody else, that's not going to get anybody obsessed with you. Um, but you will fit in a little more, I guess. But, you know, who wants that? <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks, and good luck out there.